It's a sign. It's nighttime, and this guy wants to sell me a sleep charm. Uh, you, you went invisible. <laughs> I take that, and boop, boop. Ha ha. It's morning. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 8. I'm going to keep that one over here next to my time in a bottle. So, in the last few episodes, we've been auto crafting and setting things up all in the grand purpose of sort of making our way towards the ATM star. And next on the list is this infinite storage drive. When I go down here and have a look at that, I'm slowly getting rid of the last few things that are being built up, but you can see it's still missing a bunch of redstone, a bunch of iron, a bunch of gold and silicon and all of that stuff. But because this is the essence that it's saying it's missing, not necessarily the redstone dust, I've been out running my machine. And if we go in here, I have 177,000 redstone. I've got 430,000 iron. I've got a few things, 66,000 diamond, all from the mining dimension. But when we look at that sort of stuff, and then we go in here and we have a look at my poor 1 million storage drive, 69% full, nice, but it is not going to be able to handle all of the extra stuff. Now I could go through and set up some drawers to handle it in the transition period between the two, or <laughs> I could go down and let's have a look, 256, that is the million drive, 4 million, what would a 16 million take? Honestly, like barely anything in the grand scheme of things. So what I'm going to do is start that, process up all of the things that we need, crafting, crafting, and as it goes through that process, there we go. Now I should be able to go here and type in storage, and oh, that's right, we have that 262, but I'm keeping that. We're going to use this 16 million, and someone said in the comments, if I hold control when I do this, it will automatically craft up the things that I need like that. And then I should be able to go back to this and it's all done. That is so helpful. Thank you so much for that comment. I'll actually take a screenshot and pop that up on the screen. I appreciate that one. It actually is really helpful because it's something that I had no idea about. So with the two of these combined, we now have a 16 million drive, which is going to keep us. Yeah. Yeah. Back down to 4% from 69%. And that means that I should be able to chuck some stuff in this importer and just put it in my system. So we're going to chuck this up here. And let me see, out of this stuff, what do I want to actually import? That, 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 that. I'm just grabbing like one of each of the things that I actually need. Oh, we may as well grab the uraninite as well and the gold nuggets. Sure. I then go into here and we just, oh, I don't want the uh, charm going in there like that. Uh, put those things in and now uh, we should be done. Oh, waiting for the server. There we go. <laughs> it, uh, it took a little second because that was a lot of items, but now I can sort that and if I then go across to here and have a look now, oh yeah, way less of these things required. Now, it says that we need iron. I'm going to go through and I think, no, nope, not using that one. I'm going to make a secondary crafting for the iron itself. And we're going to turn all of the raw iron that I just put in the system, which should be visible just there, 431,000. And we're gonna turn that into normal iron. So right now over here, I have this. This is a nut, oh, actually, hmm, I need to take that out. There is probably some way to go about this and I'm sure that uh, you folks will be able to tell me, I need you, you're in the way. But I know that I have the crafting monitor and the crafting manager. I suppose I could just take it in and out using these, right? Either way, I think I should be able to now do this. Yes. So that will craft 64 out of 64. Let's, let's see. If I just said 430,000 to make sure for starters, uh, 430,000 available. 
start. Oh, yeah. So setting it so that it does do 64 is now absolutely burning through here. It's actually going so fast that you can't see it happening. But we should be able to see here our iron ingots just skyrocketing. 10,000. 10,000. Oh, that's very satisfying. And all of that should be going into here. It is. And that can hold 262. Cool. I am fine. Beautiful. Now, if I go over to here, I should be able to do this and I should be able to see that the uh, amount of iron is going down and down and down. We'll let it do its thing. And wonderful. What does it need now? Oh, I think we got all of the iron that is required. Yeah, look at that. So with that, we have all of the iron now. The redstone has significantly gone down, but I still need 272,000. So it may be a little bit more of a run. Why do I need this? What is this dirt essence for? <laughs> Why does it need that for crafting? I'm not sure. But uh, the big draw here now is the silicon. I wonder if we run our chunk destroyer in the nether. Could we get a bunch more silicon? And by silicon, I mean quartz. Let's try that out. All right, let's see if this works. So now we're in the nether. I've gone just a little bit away from my area. I'm gonna chuck these things in here and we have a nitro ender gate. What I'm gonna do is set this up to just go 10 and 10 in that direction, I think. I'm gonna click start and we're just going to chuck that power on there. And let's see, there we go. It's starting to set up a little boundary. With a bit of luck, this thing should just tear apart the nether. Let's see. Oh, there we go, it's already started. <laughs> so it's obviously going, <laughs> yeah, it's going in that direction and that direction. And this must be the internal corner. Perfect. So. As we do this, it's obviously going to get a lot of junk, but the main thing that I'm after here is the nether quartz. The chunk destroyer itself should keep things in its buffer, so if we fill this up, it's not the end of the world. I should be able to just grab it and go. It's also filling up with lava. It can hold 2.1 mega buckets. Okay, so it should be fine. But I guess we can attach a, uh, a thing to it. Yeah, it's actually removing the lava as it goes. This is fantastic. Amazing. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> the temporary blocks are there for a reason. To hold the lava at bay. Okay. Silly me. It's fine. It's all worked out. So this is going to go through and it's just going to collect a bunch of stuff. And I figured I would do it in here because while the mining dimension does have a nether layer, it's nowhere near as large an area as this is. So I'm sort of thinking that uh, we should hopefully get a slightly higher amount of nether quartz by doing this. Obviously we're getting a lot of netherrack too, but it does seem to be keeping up. Also this is giving us a bunch of other stuff that is gonna be useful anyway. Cool, so I'm gonna let this run its course for a minute and uh, see what happens. Okay, we've opened that up. I'm just gonna loot this while I have the opportunity. Paling, some backpacks, don't really care. All right, wonderful. Do your thing. <laughs> and we'll see how much quartz we get by the end of it. All right. Oh, look at that. <laughs> A couple little things for our troubles. Uh, eh, mm, oh. <laughs> Received double wool from sheep. Oh, but the sheep takes damage. No, no, we don't want that. But this has done just a sort of smaller area compared to what we do in the mining dimension. Hey, there we go. And I don't know how much it's grabbed. So, ooh, there's a little bit more of this. Perfect. So let's have a look up here now. Uh, hold on. Ah, I'm moving too fast. 26,000 quartz. Okay, that's a start. And you can see there is a bunch of stuff left over in there. So we're going to actually just take those two and head home. And since this should still be set up, which it is, I'm just going to grab these things. And there we go. How are we looking now? Closer, but... Hmm. Heather Quartz, what do I have set up in here? 
nether quartz out of that. Let's do a quick little thing in our crafting manager here. We have a nether quartz pattern there, but we should also have in our smelting one, processing these things, nether quartz into silicon. No, that should be right. That should be all hooked up just fine. Gotcha. So we need a little bit more redstone. <laughs> we need, what is this for? <laughs> Why do I need the dirt? Hmm, that's fine. These things are going to continue to grow and output and such. So I think maybe while I uh, do some things, I'll go fight the dragon a couple of times, maybe run this chunk destroyer back through over in the mining dimension again. And that way, see if we have a little bit more luck getting everything that we need, because I'm determined. I really want to get to my infinite storage drive today. Um, What else can I put into the system now that it is uh, kind of a little bit bigger? That, that soul sand withering a few of those things and there we go we've cleared some space perfect i can grab these smaller amounts out and just put them directly in as well make myself a little bit of room and we can go from there all right continuing the progress i would like to get a couple more dragon kills done just so that i can uh, start improving the amount of this stuff that we're making and it's sort of reaching the point where <laughs> I don't really think I'm going to need to be growing these power related things for much longer. I think we have plenty of them going for our needs. And so I may, uh, I may take those out and start using this space for something else to continue to grow. Yeah, we've got plenty of dragon egg stuff. Maybe we can start working towards some more of these. Anyway, I'm going to fight the dragon a few times. Now, after fighting the dragon, spending some time setting up those resource things with mystical agriculture. Oh, hello, friend. Why did I not find you when I was looking for it uh, earlier in the season? This would have been much more convenient. Um, but I have uh, done a few different things. One, I made a second Dank 7 and ran a Silk Touch variety of... Uh, things in the mining dimension to see what I could get as far as like quartz and stuff. So I got 2,300 nether quartz and I also have 2,000 from coming into the nether and just flying around. It hasn't really taken me that long, but just doing it like this, spending the time to fly around to where it's exposed is actually probably a lot quicker than setting up the quarry itself. And it's not a bad way to increase the amount that I have at my disposal. But then something happened. You see, I was floating around. I'm uh, a fair way out as far as the map goes. If we come here, you can see sort of over this direction somewhere. Ah, there we go. There is my spot that I dug out. And so my, uh, my nether portal somewhere around here. And I've gone on a bit of an adventure and I stumbled across something. Something very, very interesting. Let's see if I can find it again. Uh, <laughs> I've stumbled across somewhere here. Where is it? No. Oh, here it is. Uh, this is an overworld ancient city in the nether that has a nether portal. Now, I'm going to assume Oh, excuse you. That means now that, uh, well, at first I thought this is going to take me to another dimension. And I got really excited, but uh, it's kind of just a normal nether portal. So does this just take me to the overworld? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the looks of things, that's all it does. Um, hmm. I'll take a few diamonds. Why not? So if I open up my map here, uh, where am I? Looking at my coordinates, it looks like I'm 17,000 blocks away from uh, sort of my main area. Hmm. And I'm very confused as to what I'm seeing right now. Here we go. So am I a mile away over here? Yeah. Hold on. There we go. So I am super, super, super far to the east. 
of my uh, of my main base. And yeah, hello, random ice spike biome. I suppose it didn't take me out. Oh, village! It didn't take me out into an ancient city either. So that's the thing. Is this one of those fancy villages that has the cute little guys? It does. Hey, friends. How you doing? Oh, you look ridiculous. Your eyes are creepily, like, too detailed for the pumpkin. <laughs> what are these? Pumpkin wardens. Beautiful. But yes, I uh, don't really have anything to do out here. So I think it is probably just worthwhile to jump back to where we were and continue grabbing a few things in the nether. It could definitely be worth it to uh, spend some time in here, though, just checking... Oh, oh perish. Just checking for any goodies. Crimson iron ore stuff. I feel like the uh, the loot chest in here could potentially be really good. Well, yeah. Or they could just be lackluster. <laughs> I'm going to put some of this stuff away. Eh... Meh. Onion crate. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> so the reality is most of this, uh, oh, is this combined with the thing? Most of the loot that we're going to find in here is probably not going to surpass what we can produce for ourselves anyway, but it's a pretty little city. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I will take that, uh, then it rain other side though. But what I've been doing and the reason I've been collecting this stuff with Silk Touch is because I want to test something. I want to try out a little bit of a, uh, a science experiment. I want to see whether or not I can get more from processing this stuff with mechanism or using my highest level of fortune. So I'm just going to spend a little bit more time gathering this stuff. Actually, how much have I got? 2,100? Might be enough for the time being. And we could go back and see where we're sitting as far as uh, the collection of resources for that infinite part. Because there's no doubt about it, that infinite storage part is going to need a lot of resources. And that's why it's taking so long. It's a big thing. Let's head home and do some of that science. And if we're going to do that, we're going to do it properly. This has Fortune 8. There are some things like this one. Does that allow me to add two levels to both my efficiency and fortune? Hmm. I would need to turn this into a, uh, a apotheosis version that has empty sockets. So if we come over here, wait, no, this one. Yes. Come over to this one. Uh, what does that add? Breaks a five by five area? I don't want that. That's dangerous. Oh, they all break five by fives. Hmm. Has netherite effectiveness against all blocks. Honestly, probably this one, the five by three. And then can I remove that? Does that destroy the item? Well, there's only one way to find out. It does. <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. That's fine. We'll make ourselves a new old modium pick. Do it like so. Chuck it in here and see whether we get a better one. Netherite effectiveness. Eh, sure. Oh, I can just do it straight again. <laughs> of course I can. Silly me. That's better. Okay, so if we grab this and have a look at what we can do for it, we'll grab the highest efficiency and we'll grab my highest level of fortune, which is fortune eight. Uh, nothing else is really that needed. We'll add that to it. So now we have efficiency nine and fortune seven. I could have added the uh, boon of the earth, but I'm not too worried about that because this will be my main fortune pickaxe. And then if I come over here to where there's sockets, does that, it doesn't. Okay. Wait, or does it? Does it just not show? Perhaps here, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to do this because we have a few anyway. Ah, I can't add those ones to it because they're unique, maybe? Yeah, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Here comes the science part. Over here in our uh, random compacting machine with all our all the modium, I'm going to grab some of this and I'm going to do a few tests. First and foremost, we have 
nothing on us. We have no quartz. This, I'm going to turn off my pickup upgrades and two, three, four, five, six. From six, we got 22, which is an average of nearly four per. I'm going to put that away and then I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got 39 that time, which is an average of six and a half. Okay. Let's do one more. So we did get up to six and a half. 45 across six gives us an average of seven and a half. Okay. So there is a potential for a lot higher. The reason I'm checking this is because if we go to the uses of this, we can guarantee six from every single nether quartz going through that. So it sort of becomes a matter of, am I consistently getting over six from this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or much like this, am I potentially getting under half of the time? Honestly, I feel like Mechanism is probably the way to go for consistency's sake. Yeah. So I'm going to put that stuff away and uh, we might try our enrichment. Now we have an advanced enrichment factory here, which when I do this is decently fast, but I feel like we could go a lot faster. I'll just take those out real quick. That is a nice amount though. Exactly six stacks per stack of ore. So if that's the case, I should uninstall the upgrades just in case. I don't know whether upgrading this machine will change that. And can we go up to the next level of elite? So use of that. What are we missing? Elite control units, which is missing this. One, two, one, two. And then I need some of these, which is infused alloy in there with diamond. Okay. Infuser. Where is my infuser? Here we go. Hmm, I've only got a little bit of infused alloy, but this is probably enough. We have a decent amount of diamond dust, which if I actually put down my enrichment factory, I think I can turn into... Oh, nope, that's the wrong way. Let's crush that back down. No, no, stop. I'm taking this out. Aha. <laughs> we'll put that in here and we'll enrich those up to a reinforced version. And... There we go. This now has a slightly better version. And what is the next one? Do I bother going up to this level? Refined obsi obsidian? Yeah, I can do that for sure. Now this ultimate enriching factory, yeah, that will do eight slots at a time. That's uh, it's kind of pretty crazy. And I think that's probably it, right? It's used in, huh? <laughs> it's used in not much. Cool. Okay. So I should be able to very quickly process all of this stuff. And if I set this up with an importer on it, uh, we should be able to process all of that. So I'm going to take that with me and we're going to head on out. And I'm actually going to use this little setup that I have here. I need a few of these things so I can auto craft them like that to make myself some of those to then put all of that together and make myself some ender nitrogates. There we go. So if I put that on there, we are getting plenty of power. And then if I put this on there, add a stack upgrade and speed upgrade, I would like to import the nether quartz. Now, if I was to, for example, grab this, make myself uh, a netherite crafter. What am I missing? Netherite? I don't have a recipe for netherite yet. Okay. Um, that's easy enough to fix actually i could just use this and put it in my every day one there then netherite crafter if i chuck this on top of there rotate it so that it's facing down like so and then grab myself a cable or two 
Can I make myself a processing autocrafter for this recipe through enrichment chamber, right? Using that like this as a processing. Now I could do it like that, but I could also um, 64, set it to 64 and uh, see whether that does anything different. It says the output is six. Hmm, I don't like that. Okay, we'll just try it as it is for now. So if I chuck that in there, can I then request? No, this, how do I request it? Hmm, I need to Google and see if I can swap between existing types of uh, recipe when I have multiple of the same thing, you know? Hmm, can't find anything very quickly. So I'm actually going to go through and just remove this one, which uh, uses the nether quartz essence. And I think that was the only conflicting one that I had. And now if I do this, yeah, there we go. So if I go through and add my nether quartz here, or at least my uh, ore variety of it into RS, um, I also have some here. Can I then request... How many do I have missing? Ah, it's trying to get other quartz ore. Interesting. That's fine. Alternatives. Let's look. Uh, nether. Where are we? Here we go. That one there. Uh, apply? No. All right, let's try and do this. Let's add a stack there to output. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wonder if that'll work. 64 nether quartz outputting that. <laughs> But I'll also do it with just one there and one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and see whether that does it too. All right, first off, let's put that in there and see. If I go like this, let's just request a bunch. Does that work? Is it doing the thing? It got stuck. Oh, because I don't have any power on it. <laughs> now, why is the importer... Oh, this is whitelist mode. There we go. Uh, ha, ha, ha. You know, it's a learning experience. Sometimes you get things right. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> let's take out the thing that I'm not sure about. And instead, let's just put this in and see whether it removes it. It might be a matter of this. Let's have a look. See, um, that's the back, front, top, back, side config, eject, auto eject. On. No. Output. There we go. <laughs> okay. Progress. Now, if I grab a bunch of this, can I process it like this? I can. Okay. Now we're talking. I'm just going to do it slightly manual and go through all of my courts. Times it by six. I doubt it'll be enough. But just so you know, I did fight the dragon a couple extra times. And then I came back in here and I turned all of this into silicon. So I am slightly increasing the speed with which I'm producing that stuff. Also, one question that I would like answered is if I fill this up, does that go faster? It does. It's going f not that much faster though. Ah, oh, it's running into problems with the power input, I think. Maybe? Yeah, some weird's happening here. Not enough energy to operate. Got ya. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let me go through and just work on this. And after a little bit of time, how are we looking in here for this infinite craft? Ooh. We have narrowed it down to two, but it's definitely the silicon that is just causing us the most grief. So uh, this is probably almost done. I'm going to grab this uh, nether quartz out of essence there, like so. That may change things slightly. We'll see. But we do have storage. We do have a 262 million part, which is only two down from there. So I'm thinking, could we craft that? Not quite. We could craft another 262. If I craft this, it's actually going to give me a uh, far less intimidating view of the amount of required resources left over. So the main difficulty that I'm having is trying to look at these ridiculously large numbers 
and work out the amount that I have left. So if we craft up everything that we can from this situation, processing up tens of thousands of items and such, all in the efforts to craft another 262 million storage part, which it's definitely making its way through that process. Oh, it's just crafting a casual 2,000 more 16K storage parts. I love that. But let's let it do its thing here. I feel like this is processing things super fast. Look at that. Going through all of the things that it needs. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Stored one, four million, two, 16 million stored. 65 million is stored. Almost there. Only you need to craft another 2,504K storage parts. <laughs> I need, honestly, I need more uh, furnaces if I wanted to speed this process up. But at the end of the day, this is one of the bigger auto processing things that is going to take place in this world. So I don't mind just running off the one of them. Okay. Boop, boop. Come on, you got this. What's it hung up on? Processing? Or has it just done it and it hasn't quite caught up? What's happening here? I'm going to cancel that and craft another one. There we go. <laughs> I maybe just got a little bit hung up. So now we have two of those. Let's have a look at what it would take to craft this. And so we really are just missing out on silicon. Now it shows that it's silicon essence that we're missing out on, but that's because it needs 118,000 silicon and we only have that much. Hmm. And then if we want to go to an infinite, we're also missing how much redstone? Available 100,000 to craft 372,000. We're missing 150,000 of this essence. Oh boy. It takes a lot of resources to have infinite storage. Who'd have thought? I think looking at the essence is part of the problem for me. Let's craft up, say, 100,000 of these. Can I do that? Not quite. How about 50,000? I can do that. Uh, going through that process like so. Okay. I really do just need a whole lot more stuff. Is it counting this? Is it counting that? I feel like it didn't use any of the, uh, the courts that I have available here. But, yeah. Okay. Let's have a quick check. If we have a look at this, nether quartz to silicon, that is one of the processing ways. I'm gonna take out the silicon essence one and we're gonna craft up, mm, wait, no, I don't wanna craft that. I wanna craft this, let's say 25,000. Yeah, I can do that. It'll smelt that up kind of quickly. Oh, it's uh, not the best recipe setup, but it's fine. Does this make things easier? No. So it definitely did have a process of turning things into what we needed. Let me spend a little bit more time trying to uh, organize all of my little resources and stuff into this one point here to see if we can get this ready in this episode. I'm really hoping, but I'm just not quite sure. It's a lot of work, but once we have it, oh boy things become a lot easier as far as not having to worry about anything storage-wise. Okay, let me do a little bit more investigating. All right, we're getting serious now. I, in my hand, have a Supremium watering can, which, when I use it, it's hard to see. Hold on, let me see if I can find a better way to show this. There we go. If I click it at the right time, it harvests, and then I click, and it's instantly growing these up to full. So, if I can automate this click, it should speed this up to about as quick as humanly possible. Now, I don't know whether it's just this that is doing it, or the fact that underneath this uh, farmland, I've also added an additional 81 of these lily pads of fertility, down here. Yeah. So I've added those and from looking around and such, I believe I may be able to do something with modular routers. So let's make ourselves some. Is there any quest line for this? Oh, I did get a quest line for that though. But if we look into the actual modular routers mod itself, somewhere in here is an activator. There we go. 
activator module. Now I also probably want some speed upgrades. So if I can make an activator module, I just need some dispensers and one of those. There we go. So we have ourselves an activator module and then I want to make myself a bunch of these, which requires a handful of this. Sure, 48 or two. <laughs> and I believe if I set this up properly, grab myself a block or two just for putting some stuff down. I'm gonna put the module around here. And if we add this in there, Hold I for more info. Simulates right-clicking blocks and entities using the item in the router's buffer. Acts as if the router is a fake player. So, it's been a while since I've used uh, modular routers. But if I grab this, put it in here, and put that in there. How do I action right-click, shift, no. How do I access the settings? <laughs> mm hmm Ah. Uh, I just had to be looking somewhere that I wasn't within range of and I can right click it and I've managed to make it look down or activate down as well as look down. So if I put this in here, oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh my God. So this is limited by the speed of the harvester pylon down below. But I think this should probably make it a little bit faster. So if I have a look at my silicon essence here. Yeah, it's going up uh, in bursts of what? 100 or so? 80 or so? Oh, probably. Probably uh, 81 or 80. Yeah. So it's going up in bursts of 80 and it's, it's doing it damn near instantly. Okay. That works really well. Weirdly, it is right-clicking this to open it. Uh, I could probably put it one above or have it right-click into a block above. But for now, I'm not too worried because it's working. So that is speeding up our process a little bit. Nice. In fact, I think it's potentially almost hitting these ones over here too. But you can see I do have... Uh, oh, they might be just in range of uh, the additional... Lily pads of fertility as well. But that's good. That's going to speed this up fairly significantly. We're at 24,000 essence now. So it does approximately 80 every... Hold on. If I do this, it'll go modified just now by Bottle Top Hornet. Nah, nah. It only shows by minutes. Yeah. One. Oh, here we go. Two, three. One, two, three. About every three seconds. It's not perfect though. Very interesting. This isn't a bad solution if you do need to produce something super quick. Uh, so the combination of things here, if you are curious, is obviously the whole mystical agriculture setup that we've done before with the lily pads of fertility, but I've made a modular router here with an activator module that is using a supremium watering can, which essentially instantly grows this stuff. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, I don't think I can put any more. No, I can't. I don't think the speed upgrade would really make a difference anyway, because it is the pylon underneath here that is actually causing us the uh, the lack of speed now. The question is, I'm too big right now to fit in there. Luckily, I have something that can fix that. <laughs> now, is there anything in here that can speed it up? I'm not so sure. Possibly not. At the end of the day though, I think we've done a decent job of increasing the speed of this whole thing. Like we've got 4,000 or so in the time that I've been here. Yeah, this is uh, way faster, way, way faster. Hmm. But I don't think it's worth trying to set up, say, a bunch of extra versions of this and uh, rushing it. I think maybe it's just uh... <laughs> Maybe it's just a case of being patient. Maybe it is uh, a case of we're just not quite going to get it this episode. Now, the redstone I'm not too worried about because I can go gather that with an AFK session out in the mining dimension. But we are limited by waiting for this stuff here. Although, damn, I could grow my... Uh... <laughs> my older modium and stuff like that a lot quicker if I did this same setup underneath here. Might be worth a try in a little bit. 
But I think with that, uh, we're going to leave it here. I tried. I really tried. I got a little distracted, but I did spend hours upon hours. Uh, we're up to 44 hours here, and I can't quite remember what we were at just before. But yeah, I've spent a little bit of time working on this in this episode. And it's just not realistic to get it all done just yet. That was at 28,000 just before, and we're at 31,000. So this is fast, and it is going to get us the resources a lot quicker than we were previously. <sighs> but not today. So with that, I think I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching. I apologize that we didn't get our infinite storage drive done today, but we did get a secondary of the 262 million storage as well as set ourselves up with some other interesting stuff. Hopefully I've managed to edit this up into a fairly decent episode that isn't too long and bloated, but with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. I would like to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support. You folks are amazing, as well as some new Patreons who have popped in. Thank you so much for the support. It does mean a lot, and it means that uh, I can continue to work harder and spend more time doing this stuff full time. So I appreciate you. But with that being said, we're going to leave the episode here. So until the next episode, I hope you all take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Uh, bye bye everyone. Whoop. <laughs>